Over the centuries, the British landscape has changed significantly. Rare habitats such as this wildlife-rich culm grassland in Devon have been severely reduced and are even at risk of being lost altogether. But a pair of experimental engineers have been employed here in the hope they can alter the landscape for the better. Beavers, nature's top engineers. They're tree-felling, dam-building champions. And I'm here in a secret location to meet a couple of beavers who in just one year have brought about big changes to the countryside. Peter Burgess, conservation manager for the Devon Wildlife Trust, explains why something had to be done to save the culm grassland. It's really wildlife rich and it's one of the jewels in the crown of, of what we have in Devon. Unfortunately, it costs a lot of money to manage and we're looking and investigating the potential of, of beavers restoring this habitat back to, its, back to its former glory. Left to its own devices, this area would eventually become oak woodland. But for the culm grassland to flourish, there needs to be a good supply of water and tree saplings need to be dealt with. So, two beavers with their renowned gnawing ability have been released into this large fenced enclosure and the results have been quite dramatic. My Absolutely. goodness me, look at this. That is <laughs> it's astonishing. It's a huge amount of effort to be expending. You know, they're, they're felling really quite large chunks of wood here. Amazing. And so this area of water behind us, is this all being created by the beavers? This is all their activity, probably the last four months or so. And, and you can see, you know, just engineered a, a whole, whole wetland environment. And what's also astonishing is the height difference of the water here on the dam. And yeah. then it's probably like, it's nearly a metre drop down It's about here. a metre drop, but beavers aren't daft. You know, what they've utilised is this, this tree which has fallen over in the past. And they thought, yeah, I'll use that as the dam. Don't because tell me they've dug the whole of this channel. All of the activity through here is, is through the beavers. So the, they amazing. excavate these beaver canals, as they're known, and these are their highways through the landscape. Understanding their habits means Peter knows the best place to get a glimpse of our landscape gardeners. Usually nocturnal animals, we should have had plenty of time to set up all the nighttime camera kit. The bubbles everywhere. Yeah. Oh, wow. <gasps> We've literally just finished rigging the kit and they've caught us a bit on the hoof because it's not even eight o'clock yet and they're already out and about, so that's all quite exciting. <laughs> I cannot believe we're this close. Ooh, get to see the size yeah, of them. So they're much larger than you think. When you see them in the water, they're very sleek, but you can see there the size, size of his tail. But that is an incredible sight in the British countryside, isn't fabulous. it? Really? Absolutely. Off, off he goes. But that wasn't the end of our luck for the evening. Two beavers. It seems both beavers are getting well stuck into the job at hand. A native species to the UK, beavers were hunted to extinction in the 16th century. Now they're back. Through reintroduction projects like this one, we can get a better understanding of how they manage the environment around them. That's what's so exciting about the project, to actually see the beavers going off and, and basically being chopping, cutting down very small birch sapling like that. Yeah. And, you know, they're managing the grasslands around here. That's one of the biggest threats for common grasslands is this young sapling growth coming up. And, uh, yeah, the beavers are doing the job for us. That's brilliant. He's doing your coppicing, out of hours, working yep. overtime. Yeah. And he's just sitting there right in front of us eating. Here in Devon, this trial seems to be going really well. It's great that the engineering works carried out by these beavers are helping to revitalise this fragile landscape. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see beavers finding a new, more permanent home in the British countryside. They, make it, they do make an amazing difference, don't they? It is yeah. incredible. But yeah. they're not the only spot where, where they've been reintroduced. No, that's right. I mean, there are projects going on elsewhere in the UK.